Thank you everyone for liking and subscribing to Stitching Hall channel and website. This is the second video of this tutorial. In the first part, I had shown you how I cut it. In this part, I am making the brocade fabric placket and the collar. On the back side of this dress, I kept one piece of my 3 inch fabric and stitched till the cut. Cut the extra fabric, fold it from the side and turn it towards the right side of the dress. Make a stitch This is broken fabric which is slightly harder and on the sides I make a stitch from the end fold it the ends should be neat you can press it and then it will be easier to fold all the threads all the uneven parts should be inside from the top close it with two stitches see this is close part The other side of the placket, keep 3 inch wide brocade piece. This piece should be at least 1 inch longer than our cut. Place this stripe, the golden stripe, under the dress and make a stitch on the top side. This is top side of the Dress. Till this cut, we have to make a stitch. When we use a wider fabric for placket, it becomes easier to fold it. Now from the end, press it from the joint and on, on the right side of the dress, we need to fold this part of the placket. Now fold it and from the end also, it is folded. Make sure you do this. Keep the joint towards one side fold it and starting from the end make a top stitch here you can easily press this piece with your hands, with your nails or using a steam iron. Steam iron because it is brocade fabric and dry iron may leave some marks, heat marks, right? So one side, the top side should be placed on the lower part beautifully check it that it comes neatly and accordingly press the lower part 
of this placket. I kept this placket 2 inches longer than was actually needed because my kurti or my dress is simple but uh, this brocade fabric will add some some neat and nice design to it from the end fold it and finish it when we reach the end we lift the presser foot but the needle is inside till this part I marked about 2 inch but if you kept 1 inch you will mark there and then close it from here we are supposed to make a cross line stitch from here. Make sure when uh, you are stitching some thin fabric or brocade, use a blunt needle. Use a new needle so that there is no seam puckering or the, the stitches are neat and clear cut the extra threads here I will be using hooks inside but you can have some tussle buttons or you can wear it as it is now join the shoulders the back side of the fabric out Once you do the this joining part, we need to make the collar. Now collar can be made in different ways. This is one of the ways. I am leaving this brocade golden part and then measuring the neckline. While you measure the neckline, don't pull the fabric. Don't stretch it. Simply keep the measuring tape and check. This is 16. I left the golden brocade fabric. This is about one and a half inch wide pasting. So eight inch I marked on fold and cut it. It makes making a band collar easier because it can be pasted. Now you fold it and mark the middle of this folded thing. From the top side, keep one centimeter inside and till the end, make a boat neck kind of a curve. From the below side, mark 3 fourths of an inch from the end, open ends, till the middle of the of this bookram or the canvas. Now the point is, when we want like both the collar sides should be exactly identical so this is a task that you have to keep it both the sides together and cut it from the down side also cut it cut on the line only and if the line is not right 
make it correct so give it a little shape this can be pasted okay and the ends can be this is the bottom side will be which will be joined with the neck and this is our fabric two side two layers paste this collar my thread went out okay so from the middle of this collar i did start with the end okay so from the middle i start and from the top of this band towards the top side okay that top side would be closed the lower side you can see the markings three markings i made that side would be open side so here this side also just till the middle make the marking until the middle only that's it once it is done open it and fold this open side make one stitch it can this can be a basting stitch a long stitch in the ends so this is to keep this fabric folded so done now this extra fabric extra threads we don't need start with the scissors and cut this extra fabric now once again we cut the extras from the side from the top the top is the stitched one stitched side right and the lower side we have extra fabric so we need just 1 cm so that uh, maybe or half quarter of an inch so we can just join it with the neck now it is almost done we need to fold the ends for a neat finish turn it the other side also now most important press it use a steam iron or a dry iron and press it neatly see after pressing it gives you a neat finish both the ends are half open it will make our work easy from the right side of the dress we keep the open side we start from the end of the this brocade placket and start stitching from this end make double stitch on the end and then around the neck around the neckline we join this make sure that you observe closely that i am placing this collar on the right side of the dress and then stitching
see this is the stitching part but if you want to watch the cutting part also then I will share the link with you in the description box you can check that I will also share the link for uh, latest designs for dresses in the description box you can also check latest designs which you can make for yourself so from the end push the extra fabric and the thread inside and starting from the end make a top stitch so the stitch that which we are making now this is you can notice the back side of the fabric is up or facing us where we are making a stitch see why we stitch it is very important that uh, we make note of the side of the fabric which is facing us because uh, this is the single most mistake which makes us repeat our work many times which I hate and I'm sure you are hate too so because even I like that if I'm making something it should be done as fast as possible and as neat and tidy as beautiful as it can be and then which I can find in the stores so from the top sides and the tops make a stitch a simple and stitch okay and if you find it any part of it difficult don't hesitate to ask me in the comment section so here the color is done and after doing it the next part see I always wanted to make this dress this kind of a color and here I am I completed it okay next thing next part is I had this extra piece of fabric the broken fabric which uh, I suggest that perhaps I can uh, use it or as a yoke to create a yoke effect to the front of the dress or maybe on the border or on the shoulder back side of the dress this way so it will even if this is a simple dress but it will look some beauty the elegance to this dress and maybe I can use some Swarovski or some uh, small glittering stones to make this dress more stylish more party like maybe something like that so as long as or as far as your imagination can go you can do anything to your dress you can add up as many things as you want but make sure there is one focal point right like uh, there is one important power point the main attraction of your dress so here the attraction is the placket which is a little shiny and this part the back side so here it is completed i'm sure you loved it don't forget to like the video take care goodbye